We're entering uh, the whole planet practically is, is entering a, a period where the sun crosses the center of the universe. The analogy is the sun is hanging on the cross. I think we're all familiar with that analogy from one particular religion. This is the circle of perpetual choirs, just in, in more detailed form. And we're not there. <laughs> we are, that was a bit of travel, isn't it? <laughs> but we were there yeah. at the Super Spirit Festival last time I flipped this page. Now tell me where we are. We're um, near Howard. No, we know we're, we're near, near Howard. Oh, okay, so we, we won't dwell on that because time's short. Okay. Up the edge. We'll go back to that later. Okay, we're over here, aren't we? We're, we're Tumbridge down. Wells is 12, isn't it? That's Rotting Dean at the bottom of that line. Tumbridge Wells is 12, so it's just south so of right there. So we're over here somewhere. <coughs> Right, oh, the other way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Between Brighton and Hastings or something. Anyway. <laughs> We're in Sussex. So the other circle, and this is being revealed later, this is a historically proven circle. This is a more of a kind of a channeled thing that's come through, but it's apparently it's, it's, it's there. Point 13, Canterbury, the seat of the Church of England, 12 Tunbridge Wells, um, 11 uh, West Hill and Guildford in Surrey. Um, it goes through Seahenge up on the Norfolk coast, and, and Giles is familiar with. Is it Ring Hill? Ring Hill. And Carol is familiar with Carol. the centre. It's it's a real place. It's an energetic place. It's been doused and, and established. I didn't mean to do that. Um, very <laughs> interesting. Also around London, there are two circles, <laughs> 16 and 20 miles across, and oh, all sorts of star patterns join up all of the. Major <laughs> temples, sacred places, mounds, wells, springs, all these kind of things. 19 overlaid star patterns over London. They all centre on Brock House, which is an annex to BBC Broadcasting House. And this building was built, they demolished a church to build this building, and that church was over a sacred spring. These two circles around London are the identical proportions to Stonehenge, and exact, except 1,080 times bigger. And that number itself is significant because it's the radius of the moon in miles. All these things are showing divine design. Basically, men could not conceive of something that big and build it that accurate, accurately. Yeah. And you also notice in the middle a, a, a perfect fish is formed mm. by the, the line going across London and, and where the, the vesica meets. And it, it seems significant to me that the fish is facing up which has come out of the gate of Pisces, whereas the fish has come full circle and it's pointing upwards. Basically, the age of Pisces has been fulfilled. Christ's consciousness has prevailed. Look at the Michael and Mary line going across the country. I won't dwell on that because of time. And this is an expanded um, description of the, the axes going through London. This is what happens at, with water at a molecular level when we, we pray. This is water molecules under magnification from a polluted dam, an artisan. This was Buddhist, prayed over this water. Again, the water molecule was photographed and it, it restored to its, its full crystal pattern. When you think our bodies are 70% water, our brains are 85% water, very significant that we keep in a good vibration, that we pray, we chant. Basically, we want the inside of their bodies to be looking like that, <laughs> and not like that. <laughs> <laughs> these are patterns formed by sounds. This is the vowel A in sound. Interestingly, these are electronic um, interference, beam frequency interference patterns. Sound makes six-pointed patterns. For some reason, light electronic beams create seven-pointed patterns. And the higher the frequency, the more complex the pattern. So that's a high frequency in sound coming through there. That's a stylized description of the arm. Now this is, this is the juiciest part of all this. If you're not familiar with this, and we can chant on here. Om is a syllable made up of three separate <coughs> sounds. A, U, um. A is the energetic creator God. Mm -hmm. The totality of all en energy, the entirety of creation, the goddess, mm -hmm. is the living entities, 
This is the totality of all existence in one syllable. So let's chant this together, first slowly in three parts, and then we'll merge it into the on that we're familiar with. So after me, oh. <coughs> Interestingly, the proportions of the inner out and outer circles. I haven't proven this yet, but it seems very similar to the proportions of the rings of stone, hence the rings of London's earth stars. That is a meditation in itself. If you're not familiar with that, it's 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 astonishing. The implications of that are huge. Well, I don't have time to go into it. <laughs> okay, Stonehenge. Um, just showing the, the geometry of Stonehenge. Square circle design. That's my stylized Celtic home. Celtic Spanish. Nice. I stop with that. This is Stonehenge showing 30 pointed stars. This is there's a similar pattern around London. Stonehenge showing five pointed star pattern, six six pointed star, male and female, reconciled in Stonehenge. The numbers 666-1080, reconciled in Stonehenge. Matter meeting spirit, male and female, perfectly balanced. Exactly what a temple should do. Similar in Lady Chapel at Glastonbury. This is London's Earth Star. <laughs> but Dan, we want you to rap to the drumming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah baby! Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> this is the original Glastonbury Chapel. Um, central heart, 12 huts, <laughs> it's like an astrological pattern. Um, Jesus, the sun in the middle, 12 moons all around. Zodiac symbology, highly <coughs> symbolic. Can't stop, we've got two minutes, let's chant Harry Christopher. So ideal as a download on I'm not YouTube. normally as panic as this, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very challenging. <laughs> So let's just, I'll just chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, get your drums into us. Everyone get up and let's dance. Come on, let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Let's dance. Chant God's holy names and sing and dance and let's go wild. We've got 19 seconds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 